YouTube, it is Celine here and today I am back with a brand new video on just random thoughts that I had today about different advice that I have to offer you guys because I know most of you guys are younger than me and I am, if you do not know, I am 15 in 10th grade and as of right now I'm about halfway into my high school life so I decided to share with you guys some of the things I've learned and just some random pieces of advice I have to offer you guys who are younger or even if you're older. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna film a video today and hopefully it will help some of you guys out, if not all of you. Number one advice that I have to tell you guys is that you are living your life. You know your life better than anyone else does, so never forget that because some people in your life may or may not act like they know your life better than yours and they'll take advantage of it. Number two, don't change yourself to a point that you're unrecognizable because if you do that then you may come across as fake or your previous or your current self may appear not as welcoming or as friendly as you may think you are. My third piece of advice to offer you guys is to not force yourself to do anything you don't want to do because you know your own limits, you should not have to push yourself over them if someone else is telling you to. As of right now, we are all engaged in technology and social media and texting and messaging. You name it, we are all talking to each other, whether it be in real life or on the internet. Um, usually it's on the internet, which is a really sad thing because it used to be a lot more fun to talk to people in real life without having to worry um, if they're going to respond back to your text or not. So because of that, we tend to text people a lot. People we like, people we don't like. So my biggest, this is actually probably my biggest pet peeve is when, unfortunately, give or take a few people, I know a certain set of people that text as though they are not themselves. They text as though they are a completely different person, meaning I would talk to them at school and they would barely talk to me at all, but over text, they aren't afraid to let out their true emotions or their hatred for me. So I would seriously suggest to stick to who you are as a person and Try not to change up anything because although it may be behind a screen or behind a phone, or you still are gonna see that person at one point. So unless you have an internet friend, then you may never see them ever, but even that, just be careful of who you're talking to and keep in mind who you're talking to. Another thing is to do what you wanna do. I mean, if there's a sport or an activity that you really wanna try, but none of your friends are in it and none of your friends want to do it with you, then don't stop that. Don't let that stop you from doing what you want to do. Because none of my friends from school do YouTube videos, but if I let that stop me for one second, then I can assure you I would have none of you guys watching me right now. This video wouldn't be even up, and I'd probably be reading a book right now or something. But even if YouTube doesn't apply to you, meaning you're not in my situation right now, say you want to do a sport, okay? But none of your friends want to do it. Just try out for the team, do it anyways, and see if you like it because it's better to say I did that rather than I could have done that. So take your time with anything and everything. So except time test because that you should keep you should keep in mind like the time and everything because you can't blame me for saying you can't blame me for your test score if it's not as great as you hoped because you took too much time on it. Because quality is way better than quantity. You should be able to have fun without getting way out of control because it's really easy to have so much fun but then within a matter of minutes everything can just go way out of proportion and out of control and it will all blow up in your face the next day. Don't be afraid to try something new because you're scared of what other people may think of you because if I let that happen to me, if I let myself do that, then I could assure you again I would not be on YouTube, you guys would not be watching me, I would not be doing half the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Oof, this is probably actually my biggest pet peeve um, more than the texting one. I hate when I see people treat people as though they're their slaves, their peasants, or their followers, as if they're sitting on this giant throne with only them in charge and everyone else is kissing their feet because not everyone looks up to you. Not everyone worships your every move. You shouldn't beat yourself up for silly little things you may have done earlier in your life or on a test or something because honestly, in 20 to 30 years, you're gonna forget about it. That super important test that you can't hang out with any of your friends for but you have to study for that because you've been studying all month for it, that, that's only a little part of your grade. And say you flunk it, what, what's gonna happen? You flunk a test, so what? Let your failures in life be the motivation you have for the next thing that you wanna do. So if you get a bad test grade, let that be your motivation for getting the next test grade that's a better score. And the purpose of this video wasn't to have a whole straight, like strict set of rules. Like I don't wanna do say, don't do this, don't do this, do that, do that. Like, that's not the point of this video. This is just 
an open video that just is telling you guys some of the things that I've learned from me as well as other people so I decided to share it with you guys so that's really the only point I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to come across as angry mean rude annoying I don't want to I don't mean to come across that way so if I did I am sorry and remember that you are beautiful in your own way and you shouldn't let other people have to tell you you're beautiful in order for you to feel it that is pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully some of you if not all of you learned something from this and are able to use it in your life or later on in life or something or even a current situation. I hope you guys like the new setup because um, I actually really like it a lot. I like the whole things that I like in the background of my videos. It makes me feel a little bit more calm because I'm sitting on the floor. A little bit more me when I'm sitting on the floor because I don't know. Just like a, just feel all happy. So anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video and hopefully you guys learn something. Bye everyone!